All right, homies, we are back again. In this quick video, we're gonna take a look at the content presentation modes in Focus, and this stuff is accessible via the content and display options. Specifically, we're gonna look at this section in this video, the content presentation with sidebar settings. And by default, Focus has readability with optional sidebar selected. And so what that is, readability mode, uh, means that the text that you see here is anchored to the left side of the design. The actual content width is constrained to provide a column of text that is easy for people to read. We know from studies that we don't want text spanning all the way across the page. Visitors to a website feel like that looks like too much to read, so they don't read it. It looks too difficult to read, and that, uh, that scares people off. So the way we combat that is we constrain the width of the text to a comfortable reading width, typically anywhere between 55 and 95 characters per line. I think in this, this what you're looking at here, I think is something like 81, something like that. And uh, so that's what readability is. But on large desktop displays, readability mode allows headlines and big images, so like uh, featured images like this one, WordPress featured images, to spill out of the right side or, you know, into the uh, the white space of the design. So so big elements can be presented bigly, <laughs> and uh, it's just a better presentation. And then, of course, on mobile devices, the screens are all so narrow that everything's just in one column anyway. But that is readability mode. Uh, readability mode is interesting and flexible. So what we can do is on certain templates, if you want, you can add a sidebar. Now, I'll show you what this looks like with the, the blog page template we were just looking at. It looks like this. And boom, there's a sidebar. Now, when we enable a sidebar, when we're using readability mode and we enable a sidebar on a particular template, the truth is it actually effectively destroys readability, the readability setting on that page. Uh, what it does is now all the text over here is constrained to being inside this column. So everything is a readable width but you don't have any of that spillover effect, that cool spillover effect that makes headlines bigger, makes images look bigger, uh, all that stuff that kind of enhances things on desktop. That gets blown away in favor of having this sidebar over here. Now it's worth noting that eye tracking studies and user engagement studies and conversion studies all suggest that having a sidebar is detrimental to whatever action you are trying to get people to take in your content. So if you want people to join an email list, if you want people to buy something, if you want people to click on a very particular link, having a sidebar on that page is probably not in your best interest. It's probably not the best way to accomplish whatever your goal for that page is. Now that said, you can run your site however you want. Focus gives you the ability to do that and you can deploy while using readability mode you can deploy a sidebar on any core templates that you want. It's a pretty cool little feature. Uh, the next thing worth looking at, and actually, so if you, whenever you have a sidebar enabled, such as we have over here, what I actually have here is a text box and some widgets, okay? And you can control the display of these things. These are the, the text box and the widgets, which you can see right here, they're included by default in the sidebar, but you can turn them off if you want and replace that with anything you like. So you just unclick these two boxes, hit save, and now you're gonna have a bare sidebar. <laughs> this, this one actually just includes some, uh, some social media icons that are being deployed by a box that's not even part of focus, but uh, it's really just to kind of have something there to show when I remove everything else from that sidebar. Bottom line is you have control over what displays there. So we'll kill that real quick. And the next uh, content presentation mode in Focus, and it's the one I'm kind of most excited about, admittedly, is called Focus. And let's see what Focus looks like. If you enable Focus mode, every page, every template, and thus every page of your site, is going to be presented in this Focus mode. Focus mode centers the stuff that's in your header, 
It centers your navigation menu. It centers your headlines and your subheadlines down to H1, H2, H3. It's going to center post images and see how things are extended both left and right of the constrained column of text. We still have a constrained column of text for, for maximum readability and for uh, appeal to users, which is obviously super important. And, uh, you know, it kind of is what it is, but if you want to center everything, it's not really centering. It's not, it's not technically centered, but it is, uh, that's why we're calling it focus mode. It's just having everybody focus right there in that, uh, that awesome, beautifully formatted column of text that runs right down the center of the page. So that's focus mode. Um, if you are running readability mode, which we will flip back to, you can still deploy pages that have that focus styling. And so this is, this is basically the main reason why readability mode is enabled by default instead of focus mode. It's because uh, if readability is enabled, you get maximum flexibility with your layout. We will look at a page. So we're still running readability mode, but this particular page is running a custom template called the focus template. And this gives you that, you know, you can deploy this, this type of content presentational styling on a very particular page if you want. Maybe you have a uh, special sales page and this is how you want to present it. Or you think that the focus styling gives you uh, precisely what you need for, for this type of presentation. Um, you can do that. Now the difference between focus mode and using the focus custom template is that the focus custom template isn't going to have your nav and your, your headline or your, uh, pardon, your site title and tagline stuff centered. Uh, all your stuff in your header. The difference there is that the rest of the site, when you're running readability mode, is anchored to the left. So presumably your header and your nav and the way you've uh, crafted all that stuff and customized it is relative to this left aligned thing. So it would be weird then if we go over to a focus template and then everything is suddenly displayed differently. That may not work for you. So that's why the focus custom template is a little bit different than the focus styling when it's applied to your entire design. So, uh, and then we have our third content presentation mode in focus is called full width. And this is really, uh, this is actually a lack of a content presentation mode. This is the absence of a content presentation mode. Um, the only reason I've included this in focus at all is because for certain types of customizations, you really just, it would be better if the theme and all the stuff in the theme kind of just got out of the way. And that's what this does. So this, this makes it so for some people who are used to customizing a certain way, this setup might actually suit their needs a little bit better. I would not recommend using this because like I said, the text goes all the way across the page. We have a lot of data to suggest that this is not the best way to present text to people and on a desktop environment. On a mobile environment, they're all essentially the same, all three, all three of these content presentation modes. But uh, on desktop, you're going to have worse results, you know, as far as conversion, stuff that actually affects businesses. Uh, you're going to have worse results if you use text that goes all the way across the page. I don't recommend it, but I did put it in there as a convenience, uh, you know, for certain types of customizations. And that is everything you need to know about the content presentation modes with optional sidebar settings in focus.